episode 6 of the Bosnian Tezelovich series. As you can see on the map, Bosnia is now independent. It is a free high chiefdom of Bosnia, which also expanded its territory southward to Zahumia, which not only I'm the high chief of Bosnia, I'm also the high chief of Um, or Zahumia, uh, alternate uh, South Slavic name for that area. So I'm 55 years old and uh, it seems the time for Yelena's reign could begin soon. But hopefully I'll stay healthy long enough for to see that the legend bar, which is at a 78% for the pagan warrior lines of the champions of Perun, uh, to keep going. Which again, there are 30 members right now. A good portion of which came from my children who are still amongst the living. Which means they can contribute alongside with all these people throughout the Slavic world. And look at these. They're already up to third rank. Liliana, Vuk, Yelena, the air. Oh, and the Grinia, <laughs> Krasimir, is still quite behind. Oh, and not to forget, Milits of Broken Loot, which I did originally did not want her to be in a Warrior Lodge, but they forced me to. Plus, you gotta level up Legend, because I want to know what happens when we reach 100. I'll be very surprised that if I would be able to live long enough to see Liliana become a hero. Oh, what if she challenges me to get me off this position? Or we can be alongside her. I mean, it's kind of exciting, you know. Now, as for Zvonimir, is it time to duel yet? Nope. He's still involved in the war as he is the commander of Pitten. And this is his liege, this chief who is uh, involved in this war and well that's indirect because that's from Serbia and uh, pretend he's part of the attackers that's for up there in uh, so it's that's around that area somewhere around there All right so let's get down to business um, if there's anything left that I am missing other than the kills now 24 also for a moment did I just see died in the dungeons yes we have one person who died in the dungeons because I'm at the point where I'm like I can't keep them under house arrest anymore I got bored with that and if they're gonna die in the prison then they're gonna die in prison I'm sorry that's how I view it that way what do you mean, sorry? You're the merciless one. They call you Vladislav the Merciless for a reason. Also, how much is to create the title of the Kingdom of Bosnia? Well, it doesn't need a piety. The Croatian populace in Donia Krai have embraced Bosnian culture. Civilized peasants? Great. Well, apparently the people chose to be Bosnians. It wasn't by my steward. Which, by the way, <laughs> he's the man from Africa who is also the cupbearer of Bosnia. So it's time to settle the tribe to Soli, which has a Serbian populace. <laughs> and once we get that, then head on south into there. And then it's all Bosnian. And I don't want to subjugate Croatia because uh, it's a kingdom title and I'm still high chief or rather here's what we're gonna do in the future and I think Yelena will have to do it. Bosnia will become a kingdom and the first place we're gonna subjugate is Croatia and through Croatia we may go on conquest wars to grab a uh, Carantania and possibly expand into Lombardia if we're powerful enough. <laughs> Watching Trifon uh, Lubomirovic uh, in the training grounds is always interesting. There's something about his fighting technique that comes off as half-hearted, and his weapons, as well as armor, seem uh, like they could use a little more caring for. Trifon, can I have a word? I don't have the sparring. You are Ilmenian, ancestors of the Russians. 
Let's talk weapon care and etiquette, my good man. Hopefully this will get the legend up more. Alright, he's agreed that he needs help. In order to make him think, see things differently, I ask my quartermaster to let us spend some afternoons organizing the armory. I admit, this year's spring cleaning is overdue anyway. Get my sharpening rock and, hey, up the prestige a bit more. And I am proud. I know that I am great and I deserve respect. I've gained a proud treat, which means more prestige. Oh, blast. Well, my fellow member of the Champions of Peruna finally done organized my memory. Not sure what he had in mind, but he was clearly overwhelmed. Or perhaps I expect too much. He seemed agitated at the end. And I think it's my fault. And he calls me lousy teacher. Well, I may not be the best teacher in the world, but... More. <coughs> Ninoslav Redcheeks, a warrior in my lodge, is somewhat lacking duelist the best. It is shameful for someone like him to be so woefully unready uh, should the champions of Prune call upon his aid. Should I encourage him to spar with another member? Let's see. Well, you are an old man. And you're from Box. That's up in that area. Yeah, I remember you. Let's see. We got the Moner, who is a eunuch. I think he probably lost it during combat, one would think. Or this man. Or even my own daughter. <laughs> Look, I know you've killed one, but take it easy on him, right? <laughs> He's a steward, commander in the region of Serbia, so the best teacher is Philia. Yelena is the one for the job. Although, he will, without a doubt, a be beaten bloodied but effective. You think it's a bit harsh? Let's see. Oh, he's been soundly beaten by Yelena, who barely broke a sweat in a duel. Ninoslav suffered some minor injuries, and I'm sure to only serve to build character. He thinks I chose his opponent poorly, so he loses renown, and I lose a bit of renown. And as for Yelena, that's another win for her. And up the dual experience a bit more. One would think that's favoritism. <laughs> yeah. I'll admit that was a bit of favoritism. I just want her to be the best of the best that the of Bosnia's fighters has to offer. Alright, it is eight hundred. It's a new century. Let's go to carousing, everybody. <laughs> well, not you. For whatever reason. And remember, dueling my own daughter and shield maiden is because we're still rivals, but... But we don't hate each other that much. Well... Still does, to an extent. Okay, I lose a bit of prestige for that, but I will still gain some. The start of the Viking Age. The centralization of power in Scandinavia, along with rapid population expansion, has begun to drive its citizens to look beyond the home shores and artists. New developments in shipbuilding, an adventurous spirit, and a fearless belief in the gods are now taking the North Sea Ferris across the seas toward distant lands. They arrive as traders, raiders, and conquerors, and they call themselves Vikings. Oh, f from the fury of the Northmen deliver us. The Viking Age begins, which means they will receive shipyards and increase shipbuilding technology, and characters of the Germanic religion n now get new Casas Valleys. Oh my goodness. Saxony has gone big. And by the looks of it, they control all these holy sites. He's got the piety and the moral authority. If he's not busy, matter of fact, whenever he gets peace and if he can defeat Lombardy for one of the counties, he's about to reform the Germanic faith and Europe is in trouble. But not for us down here. We'll be on the safe side. 
while pondering over the guest list of the banquet, I wonder if I should invite one of my friends. Of course, didn't I already not invite him? And Verbosna prospers. Thanks to, you know, being independent the, and the crown focus and such. Where are we right now? 81. I rushed around to try to get everyone to work harder, not smarter, to get everything ready for the banquet. When the guests started to arrive, I waited impatiently with Cressmere, and I still did my best to make sure every guest felt welcome and found his designated table. He was the last to arrive, I'm glad. And I could care less for the Dalmatian girl. Oh, even more so. She's an imbecile. She don't know nothing. Well, soon you're going to be nothing once you're going to die in the dungeons if I even forget about you for at least a while. I still have that ambition, right? Again, we're not going to war to anybody, but I'm sure there will be a time to raid again. Hmm. We have more light infantry than anything else, so we'll go for that. They just control mandate and medium centralization. This will do. And better construction in this county. Yeah, why not? Just get them all. Or tribal, so some of these structures don't even matter. That's for heathens and heretics, if there are any in this realm that are landed. What are you up to? Oh, you've been raided. Been raided. Alright, Vuk the Bellower is now my best friend, and he's also the future High Chief of Um. Which no doubt, if I pass, then Yelena is going to fight for it. To unite Bosnia. Now we need 400 more prestige. Khan Turbul II has passed away. Did he now? He's been killed by... This person. I guess they fought in a duel and it was a bloody struggle. He took his eye, but he still managed to kill him, I, I imagine. Does that mean? Yep. Taurig the second, seven years old, doesn't have much of an army strength, and he's going to be timid. Well, don't have to antagonize him anymore. <laughs> trying to think. Who else can I, you know, antagonize? Because, huh, maybe we got to stop that Saxon from reforming. I'll actually just hit that. Even though he's from quite a ways over there. What does he have? Just chainmail armor. Plus he's a bad duelist. I just need somebody to antagonize and amuse myself. They're all raided, so... Can't raid anywhere. I mean, I can raid the tribal areas, but they don't give out much money. But if there's any conflict out there nearby that interests me, then I would definitely join the wars for glory. Grand Chief Eckbert is notorious for his slothful, apathetic attitude. I'm sure I can exploit his distaste for all the glorious tasks to my advantage some way. That's his only sin. He may be... Oh yeah, he's a bad person. And he's a drunkard. They call him the drunkard because he's lazy. Did he survey his borders recently? Well, he's got a very large... Grand Chiefdom. That's what he calls us, the Kingdom title for the Saxons. Sent a falsified report on his domain to force a new survey of his borders. Whatever the hell that does. Also, guards oil up the wreck. Ah, oh, for the first time. Arm wrestling challenge. 
Many important warriors have gathered in the lodge tonight in order to celebrate a recent hunt. I barely uh, joined some of my friends in the festivities when Chief uh, Wakla, uh, or Vaslav, depending on your pronunciation, barges in, uh, claiming that he is twice as strong as I am and he's challenging me to an arm wrestling match to prove it. And they call you the blushing. You don't look that strong to me, but hey. <laughs> Who did you kill? As a travel concern, did you kill one of your brothers? Yep. You killed uh, your brother. So yeah, we have something coming. Also, by the way, Pomeranian, not Polish. You're on. Alright, he and I sit in the front of the other, uh, preparing ourselves for the game. We put our arms on the table, while the third fighter holds our fist still. The crowd around us chants uh, this uh, jointed countdown. And cheers we start pushing against each other. One, two, three. Arr! Things are not looking great for him. I'm slowly managing to get his knuckles on the table, despite his best efforts to push my hand back when he suddenly shouts a semi-coherent warning about something dangerous behind me. I am baffled. Do you think I'm that stupid? With a loud thun, I slam his fists on against the table, earning a shower of cheers from the other warriors gathered around us. My opponent glares at me and mumbles about uh, something about accepted defeat as he rubs his hands. You gotta have more prestige, so for once, don't be too hard on yourself. The legend grows, and so is the prestige. You done yet? Oh, I can do alone now. This is for honor, mind you. Just as I hope. Grand Chief Eckbert has uh, spent a lot of time and resources to discover the report that I provide him with was false. At least he did something for a change. Yeah, you're a Grand Chief of Saxony and Sweden. You're getting too big for your britches there, with the amount of land that you hold. Alright. Old man fight. <laughs> We're both great duelists. <laughs> but I'm the better one. This is for honor. And the legend. Jan Lukers of Turingen. For me. I swing my dull spear with increasing enthusiasm. When it's Valder. Savaldemir is on the ground. His face red of embarrassment. I shrug, smiling to the crowd and my opponent. Walk away victorious. He got wounded. Uh, more prestige for me. Never turn down an opportunity. Why not, brother? You know, since I always have high hopes for the future of Bosnia, I have c full confidence in Yelena and I'll be the next ruler, but temporarily be the court tutor. No touristic ways will be useful to us. My... Gruba. An, sounds like an odd name to you, some people, but... I think it's a somewhat of a common name around here. Not just Bosnia, just... In general, this whole area. What the hell? Hang on. The conversion of Croatia. The tribes of Croatia have been converted to the iconoclast faith. A group of priests sent by Basilis of the Byzantine Empire have performed a great ritual which they've converted the entire population of Croatia alongside King Lovro and many of his vassals. With, with this act, the people of Croatia have once and for all forsaken their old pagan gods. Interesting. No, not interesting at all. So, this Byzantine uh, has helped them out. He's a missionary, they call him. Now, Lovros became known as the Confessor. And converted to the iconoclast faith, which would further their uh, cause of this uh, heresy. So now they found their new ally. And he's been baptized by the ecumenical patriarch as well. Croatian iconoclast... That's what they're now called. Interestingly enough, Sanulat. Uh, sure, okay, forget the names. I'm surprised he's still around with the missing body parts. Slavonia 
and Bukovar have not converted to Iconoclast. Should there ever be a revolt, I'll be glad to help them out in some way. And because of this, Split Zin Evega is Iconoclast. Only the other half of Croatia is still Slavic. Which is what I said before. That's unacceptable. <laughs> Although I can't fight against them because that would be breaking the truce. And whatever you do, don't you convert to Iconoclast either. We get nothing but death and misery, I tell you. By the way, you got any children? Grandchildren? In fact, who is your heir? Oh, yeah. Bukovar. Oh, wow. You're married to a giant of a Croatian woman. That she's lost. Well, I hope you get children soon because I would like to have one of my grandchildren to be married to one of you so we can have an alliance in case you break out in a revolt against Croatia to to kick these iconoclasts out. Oh, I spoke too soon. The war against the Great Croatian Conversion. Well, we may have to, uh, again, we can't intervene on that matter, but actually there is something I could do. And this is going to piss off a lot of the new, real, newly converted Croats. We're going to raid them. We're going to kill their armies and help out Vukovar. And the shield maidens of Bosnia will be with me. But be careful who you raid. <laughs> They don't know what's going to hit them. Oh! Slavonia's joined as well. Matter of fact, did the old man just die? Okay, he's inherited the land, so he's got more support. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> oh yeah, thank goodness I just remembered to hit the Raiders button as we were literally about to get in there in a jiffy. Oops, sorry. I meant uh, over there. Oh hell, what am I doing? Accident! Hang on. God damn it, man. Sorry, my Slavic brothers. We didn't know who's who. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> the best excuse I could come up with. 89. Know that the Croatian revolt is winning. It's appropriate to raid this area because they have a temple, so there's money behind this. By the way, that's Iconoclast Bishop, right? Yes. They replaced the pagan and got Croatia's first bishop. Well, not for long, he ain't gonna have no church. Once we loot it, I mean, we can't destroy it unless you overdo it, like I did down at Split, when we destroyed the city of Split. That's another thing. It's not just Croatia, it's the Dalmatians too, or 
Oh wait, they were kicked out prior to the uh, conversion. About to kill ten of them. Keep on winning, so know that. Also, again, as a reminder, you don't have any children, but you do have. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't suppose. I mean, I think all my brothers are married. Yeah. And I. Oh, yeah, this one son. And I would have a non aggression pact to just wondering, uh. What it'd be like. Again, using my children as a bargaining chip. We can't form alliance because I accidentally raided you. Or, oh, must not hold the temporary tunnel and is not landless. Yeah, it's because he, he's in a revolt. The struggle is ongoing. Uh-oh. The German Ayak Reformation. The ancient German Ayak religion is proving to unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways of uh, Philcare Eckbert, um, that's him now, uh, and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the German Ayak faith in order to ensure the spread of the worship of the old gods to the four corners of the world. Firmly under the leadership of the Holy Philcare, the German Ayak faith is ready to contend its weak and effeminate opponents be the missionaries or crusaders. This could this event could mark the beginning of a new era of pagan revivalism all throughout Europe and spell doom for the Abrahamic observers. Well you're still barbarians. What kind of doctrine do they have exactly? Eckbert. Okay you can read it here. They do follow the Norse principles of adventuring and seafaring and characters born under specific zodiac signs. So they chose seafaring and astrology. Interesting choices. And Egbert, this guy I'm antagonizing, is the religious head. Yes, he is the religious head of this newfound, uh, new reformed faith. So, which means, uh, in about one century later, there will be great holy wars against whichever target. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to be a changing century right now. Also, I assigned a new chancellor because Guchu, the old Mongol who founded me, has been assassinated. By who? There are no known plots right now, but... It is time to worship the ancestors. Look, I've done this enough, so for once in my last few years, I will say, Ancestors, share your wisdom with me. We got a few prisoners, one of which is going to be sacrificed. Again, he's got to win. We've got to kick these new newly Croatian converts out of uh, Slavic Croatia. Off you go. <laughs> Petty money, but I'll take it. Wait, what's this? They're invading a part of Croatia because it's weak, so they're taking advantage of a weak with their seafaring expeditions. The Danes are invading Croatia. Hold on, I did not see the, the, uh, how much? Oh, Lord. They could come in either by land or by sea. Also, he's imprisoned by Snulat of the Croatian Revolt. 
So he wins. But since we have a non-aggressive factor, which means we can't raid, so leave. Okay, that was actually an independence war of some kind. Alright, that's what that was. Well, uh, anyways, continue raiding. <laughs> As you are. And move this capital back to Zagreb. You are the most disgraceful book here. And I dare you send your invaders to Bosnia because we will beat them and kick them out of the Balkans. Should you try to land here. But I know the Danes will. And if they take that county, we're going to come in and take it. So let it happen. Let them come. We'll show them what it means to be a Bosnian. Also, who are you? Lithuanian. Sickly. Your parents are here in Bosnia? Both of them, yes. Well, welcome to Bosnia, I guess. You aren't the first Lithuanian to come here. Ninety-two. Duel for honor with my daughter and heir, Yelena. The shield maiden of Bosnia. Alright. But we're currently, uh... Daughter's not pregnant. Are you pregnant? Are you now? Well, it doesn't say that you are unless you're becoming pregnant. Like you just, uh... Well, I know I'm not. Because that's logically impossible. <laughs> oh, look, it's the Danes. They're coming to kick Croatia's ass. <laughs> Which is fine by me, because we'll come in and take that county as soon as they're done with that. But I fear that it will con go to Saxon control and we have to fight big old Saxony and its huge tribal forces. Instead of carving land for themselves. Which means, well, you better start making friends right now. Political concerns. Yeah, sorry about beating you. Not to mention you didn't like me for declaring an unjust war, which you were then a vassal of him. Oh boy. Worlds are changing. Okay, raid right down there instead, if the Byzantines aren't. Well, they're actually ready for anything. So they're at peace for a moment. Mm -hmm. Just disband for now. Are you sure you're pregnant? Oh, there you are. I must have missed that. There you are. Okay, whenever you're done... Oh, what do you mean done being pregnant? Whenever you have a child, I will... Uh well, let's duel. After your life. After giving birth. There you go. Choose your words carefully. She is your daughter and heir to the... to the high chiefdom. And soon, kingdom of Bosnia. They're going to take one more county and it is theirs. I know I can't join his war anymore because he's converted them to another faith. And at least Slavonia made a slight, uh, right move and get themselves out of there. They don't want to be associated with them. And I helped. Indirectly. 
and had a bit of a friendly fire incident because you know <laughs> yep as I expected it's under Saxony control and look he's got so many vassal troops that there is no way in stopping him but I don't know if antagonizing him is the right move So they're going home right now. War against tyranny. Alright, let's raid again. All except the... the retinue. No, no, no. Stay here. Now we got our new number one enemy, <laughs> and that's right next door to us. Miroslava, another Slavic name. Hope your pregnancy wasn't too difficult. Oh becoming sick well let's do all right now but uh, trust me I ain't gonna hurt you I want you to be better right. we just gotta do all before you get any sicker so we're on our way to raid Theodora and about to do yell uh, even though we're not sure what kind of illness she's gonna have but she just hope it's not you know she survived ammonia once so. The fight's gone off what feels like hours. The initial comes have begun to wane. Movements are getting sloppy. Then just as my knees about to give, um, give way under me, swing my dull spear in a perfect half circle, causing her to fall backwards and surprise her. Honestly, you all not. This was too easy. I gave her a black eye. Sorry. She's having a abdominal pain. Again, I guess it's a sickness from post-pregnancy, whatever it may be. It has a headache. He hates me by now and wishes me dead. The feeling, of course, is mutual. <laughs> okay, my work with him is done. Now we become rivals. Just wait for my blood to be wiped off and I'm gonna kill your ass what I think of you for found for reforming that faith of yours. You know what? I'm fine with you naming it after me. Wow, she got better from the wound pretty fast. Now she has cancer. It's terrible. And uh, having a help doesn't help either. You botched the treatment! That is it. Into the dungeon with you. You were the renowned physician and now I'm gonna kill you because you killed Bosnia's future. We have no valid candidates for a cool position, is it? We got plenty of piety, so let's find a holy man for the job. Oh, you'll do. Ninety-nine <laughs> percent. Oh, and just in case if Yelena dies.
man. I'm reluctant to have her. <laughs> well, she may not be the best of around, but I mean, I'm looking for one with very good martial skill. But do you think, honestly, we need more learning or diplomacy? I guess she's don't minded. You know what? I've once made characters dumb into slightly smart. Maybe have to try to make it go towards learning and try to get shrewd with worshipping the ancestors and wishing for wisdom. Something like that. So bear with me. And another reason why her? She's a better fighter now. <laughs> Yana is still, is still on par, but the recent treatment uh, and the cancer, well, it's going to get her. So Yana Tazalovich will be the one to leave Bosnia. And back to the front line with you. Because Bosnia needs to stay strong, especially when we fight against the uh, Saxons somehow. As soon as the blood of me is wiped off, then I will, uh, then I will duel against the Saxon Grand Chief, and I'm gonna kill him. And, and since he doesn't have an heir, that means everyone's gonna be fighting for themselves. And since he has no heir, does that mean he's also gonna be the heir to the Grand? Who is he? They're gonna split off. Make them weaker. Yes. Excellent. Here it is. For the champions of Perun, I proclaim, raising my glass. The cheers around the table are posterous, and the air hangs heavy with anticipation. There is nothing left here to conquer. Someone laughs, uh, raising an eyebrow considerably. Sveti Slav Murbus. Have you ever been to the Byzantine Empire? Of course. I've raided there several times, but not to Constantinople. I mean, you wouldn't want to go there. Uh. Damn. Who said that? Who is Svetislav? Ah, Svetislav, the arm of Perun. You are the Greco-Serbian. Yes. <laughs> I know your kind. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did I, did I see this right? You seduced her? Well. Just be glad you already have all the children that you need. <laughs> so, anyways, capital ideas, Vatislav. Let's seek out fighters in the Byzantine Empire. A group of heroes began preparing for the journey to the realm of Vazas uh, Nikitas, uh, Nikitas uh, for blood and glory. It's going to be me, Zvonimir, Wojtek, and Svetislav. As I said, Svetislav says you've been here. Of course, you actually live in there. He knows the way around. Oh. As, I'm, as I'm soon to be off into the lands of the Byzantine Empire, my marshal Theodora is concerned for our troops being without leadership. Um, might I suggest you leave your heavy dirt blade behind as a token of your continued guidance, she offers. If nothing else, you should have had that thing sharpened, my lord, she frowns. Really? I can upgrade my old Lombard sword? Well, you are designated regent. <laughs> Apparently you're about as wise, if not... Uh, well, you ain't that wise, but good advice. Also, let me see. I don't have to spend money to upgrade it. Sharpen it. I'll inform the troops of the confidence I have in you. So, <laughs> I make great progress on the legendary journey. So, now it's an, no longer a dirt blade. It's upgraded. Alright, this old lumbar sword. <laughs> Knife of the Terrain is called now. 
uh, a treasure trophy of the champion to Perun, uh, this weapon sharpened, before High Chief Vladislav's adventurous journey to the Byzantine Empire. It's not quality two, it's still quality one, but it's that same old sword, but now sharpened. Oof. Bit of a tongue tied there. If only Liliana came with us, and she was one of the heroes too. So I'm sorry, Yolna. You were Bosnia's best candidate, but that's no longer the case. Instead, we got a more doll minded but more warrior minded. Be friends with her. Alright. I can't do all of them yet. Actually, I can. You know what? Your practice. I'm gonna kill you and then go on a journey to the Byzantine Empire with my newly sharpened heavy blade or knife of the terrain, whatever the sword's name is. The old lumbar sword. And before I go on a journey to the Byzantine Empire, you know what? I know I kind of feel sorry about you. Would you like to be a shield maiden? I could get more prestige if she accepts. Nope. It would have been 100 prestige, uh, something like that. 50 to 100. Which Bosnia would have been formed, but I think it will form after I get on with my journey. Hold up. Okay, now I got people to duel. And I know who's first. Don't forget you're first. Eckbert, come here. Gonna send your ass straight to Valhalla. And you refuse your challenge because you're craven. Uh-uh, you ain't getting away that easily. You're gonna be forced to accept. Now come on, take an ass kick in your lifetime. My grip is cramping around my knife of the terrain. As Felker Eckbert braces for another attack, the following moments are blur. Blood is suddenly everywhere. Somebody is shining. Did High Chief Vladislav just sever his head from his body? Yep, he's dead. Another victorious match and I got to prestige. I could form Bosnia right now, but let me finish my journey. This is a start of the legend. My history in battle is known to many, but there are those... Uh, st still those who could benefit from learning more of my experiences. Like that time you chopped someone's head off. Oh yeah, just now. <laughs> it happened on the same day. <laughs> Chief Vladislav is asking in response to my idea. A feast. Where we go accord to with the stories, he continues. I consider the spirits it could lift as soon as I depart for the visiting empire. Right. We cut the head off of the... Belkara Saxony and Swithiod, which is the alternate, uh, it's not an alternate name, but it's a Old Norse name now. And it's held by the Swedes this time. So, Saxony is, well, it's still strong, but, um, it's still strong, but we could take them on if we got allies and such, not to mention the retinues he has. All right, as we continue to raid for money. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Continue to make pro great progress on the journey. Continue to raid down there. The time has come to, for us to move into enemy territory, Chief Vladislav. And I toasting once more to the champion's spoon. We shall find the most experienced wars and show them what it means to be a Bosnian, I declare. Everyone shall know our name. He agrees, slamming his fist onto the table. I told you, you are the armor prune. You know your way around the empire. I mean, after all, your liege is a tributary state to the empire. Yes, together. We are stronger. Slavic Brotherhood. Me and a Greco Serb. <laughs> and Yelena's died of cancer. Well, 
future no doubt is in well we s it's still secure but do not weep now the journey continues A legendary journey having spent the evening drinking and talking around the campfire with my childhood companions I finally bid them good night on my way back to my sleeping spot, I pause uh, nearby leaning against a large rock Amanda's tending to nature's call. An enemy, I yelled, more surprised than alarm. Who are you? Voltgas de Corla, the Asiarch of Samos and court physician of Samos and its commander. Whoa. He's a dualist, strong and brave, and he's wrathful and he's cruel like me and Bonnie. Oh, we got a challenger here. And I'm not wounded. <laughs> I am healthy as hell, and the frailty of old age is not going to get the best of me. I will duel this one. A bit under the influence, the battle stance comes naturally to me. My opponent staggers backwards in surprise, almost tripping over the large rock. Before he has time to catch up, I sink my knife of the terrain into his chest. The man groans, and it takes a while before my own heart stops pounding, and he is still. Oh, I'm wounded. And got a swollen ankle. You got me good. <laughs> but Chief Vladislav of Bosnia, in a spectacular duel, he slain Fultkas. The Hungarians have settled. Where? That's quite a ways. In modern day Ukraine and Russia. Interesting. That means he's tribal now. And strong. Don't forget about that. The troop numbers. Uh, having turned in for the night, I find myself wide awake listening to the snoring of Chief uh, Svetislav. As I'm just about to get up and do something about my irritation, I hear a rustling in the bushes. Before I can get to my feet, I find a man leaning over me, eyeing me suspiciously, a weapon aimed at my throat. Anastasio, an Italian who's orthodox. We got another strong duelist. And he has some experience. He's won many. Oh. Here we go. I've come armed. You have come armed, I see. How about we do this one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> Look, I'm wounded. I'm old, damn it. And I got a swollen ankle. If you put me severely injured, I'm gonna still keep going at you. As soon as camp is out of earshot, my opponent draws his weapon. Wind moves over to the moonlit metal. The grass bending in waves cause the to look as if the ground itself is breathing under our feet this is too easy I remember then I sever his head from his body I win again and now I got a black eye <laughs> but it ain't gonna stop me <laughs> I put down a hundred fools like you The key! We found it! While looting the holding, uh, one of my men came strange upon a looking cave made of unknown metal. As I examined it, the metal reminds me of that mysterious chest I recovered earlier. Perhaps there's a connection. We found a strange chest here, and apparently we came back to this area and the key was there. We missed the key last time. See if it'll fit. The key fits the lock, trembling in anticipation, and slowly opened the chest. Disappointingly, it could contains only a few parched scrolls and, and uh, crumbled the dust in my touch. Whatever wisdom they held has been forever lost to this world. Just my luck. But there is greater glory out there. We are camped on the plains on our way to the Byzantine Empire. While I'm scouting the perimeter, I hear the sound of fighting. As I lean out from behind a large rock, I spot a man wrestling a stag. And winning. We got another Greek. A duelist, but 
He's not physically strong. Not to mention shy, which this may cost him. And he is the mayor of that part of Sicily. <laughs> Wonder what he's doing out there in this countryside, which by the way, if we're going to be on our way to Constantinople, it's a diseased area. So. <laughs> A challenge. <coughs> hey, you! Yes, you! Let's fight! The man wipes some blood off his face before staying himself to face me. <laughs> the stag dead on the ground, the man races for my attack. I call out, For the champions of Perun! My knife of the terrain swooshing, nay, singing through the air, with the trees as our audience, and uh, only witness to my deed. And I've soon seen to sever his head from his body. Man, I've been cutting off heads for days. Win again. And I didn't get hurt this time. I didn't get no, you know, swollen wrist. <coughs> or have a black eye on my good eye. <laughs> but mind you, I'm still wounded. And I'm still capable, ready for who else is up to the challenge. As the raids continue and the money is pouring in. And as I said before, we can form the Kingdom of Bosnia right now, but but we cannot form that Kingdom of Bosnia without proving myself that I am worth of it. And now, Patriarch Krylos, a preacher in the service of King Lovro of Croatia, has arrived in Verbosna to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. He has little regard for old faith, declaring it simple. And he has explained in detail the horrors we shall suffer in the afterlife unless we mend our ways. There are horrors to suffer in this life as well, friend. I'm gonna throw the preacher into the dungeon. And do you know what I'm gonna do with this said preacher? He doesn't have any money, so we're gonna execute you. We hung him. Don't send us another preacher to us ever again. I have been following a rumor, trying to track down what is supposed to be the most feared fighter in the Byzantine Empire. A deadly fencer, I'm told. You go to your death, in innkeeper warns. Yet, when he's pointed out to me, I find myself face to face with a hunched elderly man, eyeing me suspiciously. Sebastianios the Lion. 60 of the combat skill. He's about as old as me. But he has a high martial skill, which, no doubt, he's brawny, attractive, strong, and a duelist. There's a lot of duelists I've been facing. All right, old man. Uh, I will not go easy on you, because you're old. Hell, we're both old. The man throws off his cowl, accepting my challenge. Here we go. <laughs> As the man unclaps his cloak, I gasp. Beneath the disguise of a poor and withered elder, he is an athletic and statuesque person donned in a fanciful armor. He lashes out at me with a silvery sword, and I almost scream in surprise. When it is over, I am bloodied and out of breath. Your death was the only logical outcome, brother. Now I got a swollen wrist, and I'm still wounded. Spectacular duel again. Look at me. Almost all of my face is a what we call the crimson mask. You know, it's full of blood. Swollen ankle, swollen wrist, black eye, wounded. But I keep going. I keep going. I will show the world why I'm going to be proclaimed the first king of Bosnia. <laughs> Come on! Get out of here! Who's next? And what's Serbia up to? They're being raided. It's it's all right. Um, I've taken I've partaken in a local tournament. I've been knocking out Greek fighters with ease. Grinning, I search the crowd for the face of Svetislav, who has been cheering me on. I find him looking a bit pale. Turning my face, my final foe, as I hear. Someone shouting an introduction. Uh, 
Oh boy, he's a giant. He's brawny, he's attractive, genius, duelist. <laughs> and I guess um, there's a little thing that's supposed to be nicknamed the lion. So I will duel the tallest man I've ever seen. The Greek giant. <laughs> the eighth wonder of the world. Oh yeah, court tutor, Liliana. Okay, maybe not her. Who is the court tutor? Who is qualified for it? Can one of my sons be the court tutor instead? Yeah, you. You take it. Yep, it's the... Um, <laughs> it's the irresistible force and the immovable object. Finally, a challenge. Uh, the crowd is cheering loudly as the giant looms over me. All the men I fought so far pale in comparison. You die now! The beast of a man roars, swinging a massive club. When it fails to hit me and bites the ground, the earth shakes. As I moves to lift it again, I strike. The crowd falls silent. <laughs> I have toppled the giant. They call me the Merciless, the Killer of Kings, the Dragon of Bosnia. Use whatever nickname you people watching this video right now you want to call Vladislav. <laughs> Tumbled all comers, and each win his comets go increases little by little. Where is this renowned duelist? There, look at this. <laughs> Nothing like it. And I'm a ruthless duelist right now. This character is a violent and unyielding duelist. Not many have walked away alive after challenging him. I even killed my own son just to prove to it. You got one more place to raid now. Then you can all go home and we'll all celebrate. The blood of a legend. Upon my return to Verbosna, warriors and commoners are like... A swoon when they see me. One woman actually faints actually as I ride by with my entourage. The whole town is dressed in celebratory banners. And my courtier Dobromir greets me with a smile. The bards will sing your accomplishments for generations to come. They say you took down an army of a hundred men and wild stags. We received news that some of you were taken captive in. The man's words trails off and he composes his hope. My lord, welcome home. From deeper in the town, the champions of Perun are singing a song in battle. Its melody is inviting me to celebration. For every Bosnian, I am the founder of the bloodline. 500 prestige, and I'm a renowned hero. The armies fight better. Multi prestige, general opinion, sex appeal. And the old wound is finally healed. Now I'm horrifically scarred. I've seen my share of fights and the face can attest. Look at me now! The champions of Perun bloodline. Rumored to have often gone singing into battle, Vladislav the Merciless was the fighter of a different time. His deeds inspired greatness in the others for generations to come. So he has more monthly prestige, combat skill, poet opinion, they'll write songs about it, and special actions on the battlefield. <laughs> and my descendants are in my children and grandchildren. They all inherit the bloodline. Vladislav should not only be the merciless, but now the champion of Perun. Oh yeah, we have done it. Also, finish your raid, and go home, and Bosnia will be formed on the next episode. Because we will proclaim the kingdom of Bosnia on the next episode of Tezalovic. Well, actually, there is one more thing I want to do before we close this episode. We got incoming. Put me in the front line. 
Liliana's coming with me. All right, the Byzantines are coming. Put me on the flank. And since there are Orthodox, uh, what happened to the guy with the uh, the deck of particular command had passed on? What are you doing? You're spy master. Hang on. That could change. I'll give it to him. I need you to be in the front line. You're up against the Visitines. They're infidels. Say you got Holy War, which damage against religious enemies. So for the final act of this episode, let's have this big old battle. <laughs> Which they're apparently taking attrition losses because they're going through Serbian territory. And onto here. Oh. Mind you, they have lots of heavy equipment. Which, I don't know if we can all handle that. Okay. Barovoga. No, I do not drink from the scald of my enemies. I laugh. One curious recruit let's slip a question about that time when I decapitated an enemy on the battlefield. But that's not a bad idea. I like your humor, boy. I said I'm patting him on the back. You're never gonna let that story go, huh? Eh? Now I got center of attention. Of course I am. Of course I'm the center of attention. I think we beat him back. Okay, this is all we can raid. Come on, let's get out of here. Because this episode uh, is just about over. So, let's um, say our goodbyes again. <coughs> we hope you tune in to the next episode of Tezolovich, um, as the Kingdom of Bosnia will be formed un under the reign of, at least for a few years, of Vladislav the Merciless, who has lived... What a life. And we hope that Yolena will be ready to be the first shield maiden queen of Bosnia. So we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, so long for now.